Hi, it's Jess. It just makes sense. And I'm in a new spot. Again, this is actually my bed. Welcome to my bed. Um, I just worked like 10 hours and I want to film this video so bad, but I also am just so tired. So I just set up a little filming area and this is where we're going to do it. Um, I have J. Crew, Elf, and of course Bath and Body Works. So let's get started with the Elf one. This one has the um, dupe to the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I hope I get the right color. I guess I won't know until tomorrow, but, and of course you have to spend more money to get free shipping, which every company does to us, right? Except for J. Crew, which is coming. They always have the free shipping. Okay, this was quite a box. I mean, they package this thing like, look, it's like a box within a box. Very well packaged. Okay, I got the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist Long Lasting. I have the Morphe Setting Spray and I did like that. I also found the Milani Setting Spray with SPF 30 and that mist is amazing. The problem with that is it, it goes away in like two seconds. So I just bear with it, but it smells disgusting. Like I can't even explain the smell, but it does not smell good. So let's try this and see if this smells any better. I'm going to wash my face after this, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, they like seriously package this stuff. They are not joking around at the eyes, lips, face location. Okay. Do I shake it? It says, achieve a healthy looking glow with this coconut infused makeup setting mist. Our dewy setting mist helps gives your makeup long lasting power while coconut is known to hydrate and condition the skin. Close eyes and miss the face in a two to four times in a Z form formulation formation. Two to four times? Maybe that's my problem. I just do this stuff like. Okay, it's definitely more, um, it's definitely not as misty as the Milani. It's not bad. It's just the Milani Mister is way better than this. But it does have a really light, nice coconut smell. I really like that. Well, I really like the smell. I don't know if I like the actual thing. Usually when I do that, when I have ones that aren't as misty, I just take like a beauty blender and I just like damp it all over my face. Dab it all over my face. Then I get the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. I don't know if this is any good, but really we're here for this. Let's not make this video two hours long. That's my dog if you hear like um, snorting noises. She's a Boston Terrier, so she doesn't really have a nostril. It's just like right there. Okay, ooh, this looks dark. What color did I get? Light medium, number three. Why did I do that? I'm not light medium. I'm like fair light. Who knows? I think this is in the middle of the night type purchase as well. Like I just saw that it had launched and I was like, oh, I better grab it before it sells out. It comes in a really nice glass bottle. Like this looks way more expensive than the $14 than it was. Oh, and the applicator is huge. I mean, that's my finger. It's a big applicator. Okay, let me put it on here. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury to, to see if it's a dupe, so don't quote me on the dupe part. It does give a nice glow to the skin. Do you see that glow? I would say I'd probably just put a dab in my foundation right now and more in the winter because it's so hot here in Florida that this would just turn into like yucky, greasy looking in like a second. You can't really tell my face because I have an all day full face of makeup on, but it is really pretty. And I think that it just kind of morphs into your skin. So it really doesn't matter what color. And you can see a little bit of coverage because I have vitiligo, so all this is like almost clear. You can see that this is has a little bit of color. 
from what it looks like, it looks like a total dupe, but you can go research it because a bunch of people have gotten it in the mail and are comparing the two. I'm glad I didn't buy the um, expensive Hollywood Flawless filter. Okay, while I'm recording this, J. Crew still should have their extra 60% off. I do not know how these things don't sell out so fast because some of these items end up being so inexpensive. If you sign up for their like membership, which is free, you just sign, put in your email, you get free shipping all the time. You always get free shipping. It's so nice. But anyway, these, I have two orders of J. Crew. This is the first one. I wear these shirts to work, plus I just love graphic tees, and J. Crew does a great job with them. I do get them super oversized for work because I like them like huge and then tucked into my like pants that I have to wear to work. So normally I probably would get my normal size, like a medium large, but I size up to an XXL. And you've got to look because some of the shirts will be like a standard size. Most are oversized, most are standard size, but some will say like, um, cropped so be careful with what it says in the listing but this one is from Biscayne National Park in Florida in Miami and it has the cutest little sea turtle this is their National Park t-shirt line and it's so cute it supports the National Park Foundation and then in the back it says Biscayne National Park in Florida I just thought that was so cute I can't take it okay so that one and I don't have a thing, but I think these ended up being like maybe $11-ish. This one is the Badlands, and it's in South Dakota. Badlands National Park. That's a big bison. I thought the color of this was really pretty. It's like a greenish olive color. It looks like the color of an olive. And I thought this was perfect for fall, like... I don't know, tucked into jeans with a flannel over it. And then in the back, it says South Dakota. It also, on the on all of them, it says J. Crew right here. Thought that was really cute. They did get a main one in with a lighthouse, which I'm totally getting, obviously. But it wasn't on there when I ordered these. Okay, this one is Elephantella. I think that's the name of the flower, which is funny because in Maine, I saw this flower and I was like, oh my goodness, I need this flower. I want this flower. And I took a picture of it and then it ended up being the flower for the shirt. Very pretty. And then on the back, it says Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, Colorado. And then it says J. Crew on the sleeve. So I just thought these were really good shirts that you can wear every day. Next up is another box of J. Crew. This is the stuff that was like super, super cheap. I mean, some of these shirts were like, ended up being like $5.10, I believe. I'm a big fan of J. Crew, and I do not know how they like, I do not know how these things don't sell out. I think it's almost like a hidden secret. Okay, so this is a like slouchy, what size did I get? Oh, I got a 2X in this because it, most of the stuff does run small. But this is like a really slouchy cable knit sweater. And I got this for super inexpensive. I'll write the prices down below. But I'm going to upload this today. Today is, what day is this? Tuesday the 26th. Um, I will upload this today. And go check out jcrew.com because they have great sales, I'm telling you. But this is like an oversized cable knit slouchy sweater. Perfect for fall. So nicely made. It does have big sleeves like not big sleeves but I mean like the sleeve holes are a little bit big not not too oversized but probably gonna be loose which is fine because I like to roll up my sleeves anyway but I just thought this was so pretty and then I got this one I've had my eye on this one since it was a new arrival at full price and it's like reversible you could do it either way you could do it as a regular cardigan button down like this or you can use that as the back and make this the front, which I probably won't do. I probably will just do the cardigan thing, but it has a little bit of like tuck, pin tuck right there. So the shoulders might pop a little bit, but not too much. And then it has these beautiful tortoiseshell buttons. 
it's just so it's really soft too it looks like it might be itchy but it's super soft and slinky i really like that what's that what is this and they purposely didn't put the tag here so that you could wear it either way which is very nice um extra large i got so cute and the rest are t-shirts i love their t-shirts what can i say this one's like a surfboard and it says sun surf. This is an extra large. And I think this might have been one of the cropped versions, but I just get a bigger size and then you just tuck it in. It's no longer cropped. This just popped up for really inexpensive too. Oh, this is the essential tea. And this one is extra, extra large. And it's really cute and yellow. It looks like it's got like, not daisies, some kind of flower on it. Perfect for work. Some of these, like the National Park ones, I'd wear out. But some of these I like get for work because they're not my favorite. But they're at least good for work. So if they get messed up, I won't be like, oh. This one I probably will wear out because I love the colors. And I just think it would look good with like a flannel. Amour de Soleil. What does that mean? Love the sun? Let me know if you know. But I just love these colors. This is like a deep, deep forest green. And then this is almost like a pinky peachish tan color. And I think it would look really good with a flannel. That's all I get for clothing. Now, last but not least, we'll do Bath and Body Works. And then I'll go take a shower and wake up at six o'clock all over again. I didn't sleep well because my dogs woke me up and then I took them out. And then by the time I took them out, it was like 5 a.m. And you know how that it comes to a point if you like have to wake up to go to the bathroom or drink water or whatever, that you just can't go back to bed. That's what happened to me this morning. And that meant that I was like 30 minutes getting ready, 30 minutes early getting ready for work. And so I treated myself to Starbucks, which I never do because your girl usually waits till last minute to get ready. I give myself one hour to get ready. Ooh, something. Something's leaky. Hmm. This one, um, I'm giving the second set to my sister because she wanted them and I had a coupon and she just got a house. This one is Kitchen Lime. This is online exclusive. And it has a uh, sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. I just think this packaging is so pretty. It's like a pewter gray with the black lines and the gold detail. Let me open this guy up. It smells almost like the, um, gosh, it smells so good I could drink it. But it smells very similar to the frosted Moscow Mule um, soap that they had. This next one is Cool Cucumber Mist. My sister would love this. This is the one that might have leaked a little bit. Cool cucumber, fresh spearmint, and salt water mist. Ooh. And she moved close to the beach, so this is perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that is good. I can't explain it any other way, but it smells like, like a spa. I don't know, it smells so good. Oh man, get this one, cool cucumber mist. It is so good and refreshing. Next is Beach Cabana, which I think I've had Beach Cabana. Okay, so these are the twinning ones. Now I wish that I would have, oh, I did get a second cool cucumber mist. I should be like, hey, um, I don't know what happened, but your cool cucumber mist hand soap, it didn't come in. I don't know what happened. Um, this is Jasmine Succulent Orange and Warm Sands. I got this for her too. The packaging is just so good and it matches her house so well. This is really good, but it does, give me a little sunblocky smell to it but for most people it would be good but like the suntan candle ooh. then I got the poppy fragrance mist I feel like if they came out with mini sizes and everything that's all I'd get because not only are they cute but they take forever to go through so this would be perfect this smells so good oh oh man Oh, that's really good. 
does anybody smell things in store and they think it's not that good and then if they like order it just checking it it's way better at home i don't know if it's because there's so many senses there or so your nose goes like nose blind but this did not smell nearly as good in the store and then i was like eh, i'll order it because i have like a free travel size mist and this is this is amazing that is so weird. I swear in store, I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna like this one. And then people always talk about this candle. I don't know if I'm gonna love this because I don't love it as a candy, but it's an online exclusive, so I thought I'd get it. Pumpkin peanut brittle. Uh, this copper hammered lid is amazing. This is um, crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. It's, um, it just kind of smells like peanut brittle, like peanuts. Maybe a little bit of pumpkin. It doesn't, toasted pumpkin seeds. So that's not even pumpkin, that's just like salt. Like when you eat pumpkin seeds, it just smells like salt. I mean, smells, tastes like salt. I don't get the obsession. Somebody let me know. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I hate it. I'll burn it, but it's nothing to write home about. But that's it. I've been waiting to open up these boxes. So I think I'm getting a couple things from Sephora, a couple things from Ulta, the Tree Hut, Pumpkin Spice Latte, uh, Sugar Scrub came, or like just released. So I bought that the other day. So look out for another haul. Sorry, this was like so informal, but next time it will be better, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye from my bed. <laughs> Bye guys.